right now we want to go to Jim Dolan, who is at a multi-faith uh, protest in Midtown that it's calling for a ceasefire. What's, yeah, the ceasefire, the first time a group has ever gotten together, multi-faith, and they're making an, an announcement today, and, a, and for that purpose, they want this to be a ceasefire. How's it going there, Jim? Just getting started here on the steps of the library, Bill. A ceasefire is what they are asking for. This is the second pro-Palestine demonstration of the day. Folks in the lower Manhattan earlier today saying that Palestinians are the real victims in the conflict in the Middle East and that the slaughter of 1,400 Israelis two weeks ago had to be seen in an historical context. Pro-Palestinian demonstrators prayed near City Hall today for peace, for an end to what they see as the occupation of Palestine. We are not murderers. We are not supporters of Hamas, ISIS, and any terrorist group. We do not support terrorism in any form or any fashion. Not supporters of Hamas, the terrorist network that massacred 1,400 Israelis two weeks ago and took more than 200 hostages. But no one here denounced them either. Some saying that Palestinians have no one else to protect them. People have to be able to defend themselves. That doesn't mean that everything they do is accurate. But people need to understand what choice are they left with. The war crimes are being committed by Israel, the greatest criminal in our day and time on the face of the earth. And it is being supported by our American government. One demand the protesters made today was the end of U.S. financial and military support for Israel. On the same day, President Biden submitted a proposal to Congress that would increase that aid. Many here say that money is used to oppress Palestinians in Jerusalem, the West Bank, and Gaza. The genocide has not just been in Gaza. It's been incremental, phased on all levels of Palestinian society, in all spaces where there are Palestinians, without resolution. Of course, everybody sees this conflict through their own lens, right? Many in lower Manhattan today did not believe Hamas had taken any hostages, but as that demonstration was breaking up, news of the release of two hostages was starting to trickle out.